in the kitchen with Brenda from the Bulk Food Shop. Great to see you, Brenda. Nice to see you. Oh my gosh, it looks like you're all set for the Packer season too. I am, definitely, definitely. All sorts of really fun goodies. I know it's hard to find sometimes, you know, the the cupcake toppers um, and, and the football toppers and things like that. So you actually sell these. I do. You know, people go to the bakeries and they love to buy those cupcakes because they have the cute little rings. I mean, we have got hundreds of different kinds. Um, so we've got our Packer rings here, our footballs, and today we're using, instead of a toothpick, we're using our little bakery picks uh, that are footballs as well. well. That's nice because, you know, you can make them from scratch, you can still decorate them up, and then you can wash them and use them over and over again. So they're really inexpensive. If you're looking for these and you can't find them because they are hard to find. They are. Um, both locations of, of Brenda's store will have them. So what are we making today for the big game? Okay, we are making um, a tort Fiesta Tortilla Pinwheel Ooh, is yum. what it's called. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with uh, some eight ounces of whipped cream cheese. Okay, so we're using the whip so it's going to be nice and easy to spread. Exactly. I like that. And this recipe has a lot of ingredients that have a lot of strong flavors, uh, but all together and the combination, it's just amazing. So we're going to start out with that eight ounces of cream cheese, okay. and then we're going to take a four ounce uh, little green chilies diced okay. can. Do not drain it, so okay. just we're going to mix it right that up. I love mm -hmm. green chilies. I also am looking at this and I'm thinking for a lot of people who are going to the game or having a game based bread, you can get these done ahead of time. Exactly. Really nice. Mm -hmm. you Refrigerate know? them even overnight. I and love then that. just slice them up in the morning. It's, I it's love perfect. that. And they're the perfect size for just popping into your mouth so you don't have to worry about knife and fork and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, think about that when you're doing your football uh, party food. Stuff that you can make ahead, stuff that you don't have to be in the kitchen. You can just take it to the tailgate as is or set it out on your kitchen island and let everybody help themselves um, and keeping it easy, breezy, and fun. Okay, so this is really easy to mix up, so, seeing it's whipped. Great yep. tip there. Okay. Super easy. Okay, so all we're going to do here is plop some on there. Okay. Um, now, this recipe is going to make eight tortillas. Okay. Um, so what I've done, too, is I use sometimes spinach, sometimes tomato basil, um, just different flavored tortillas. Okay. So we're just going to start there with that. I and like then, the green ones for the game. That's oh, kind of fun. For sure. Uh -huh. For sure. Green and gold. Um, and you know what? Now it's just a lot of putting this together with fingers um, and just layering. Okay. All right. So we're just going to start with some spinach leaves. I'm going to put these little guys on here. Yeah. All right. These little guys on here. And then we're going to take some mustard and we're going to put that all over. Okay. So just spread him out here. Put this little guy here. Depends, you know what, you can put this as thick as you like. Sure, sure. Um, all right, so then we're just going to take any kind of a spicy brown mustard. Okay. And we're just going to just kind of squirt to that. Squirt all over there. And then what we want to stick to that are red onions. These okay. are some strong guys, but sprinkle those guys on there. Again, you know, you can make this as flavorful as you like. <laughs> and if everybody's eating onions, it cancels each other out. So it's okay. Bring on the onions. Absolutely. Okay, so then what this recipe calls for is eight deli slices of ham. Okay. So we're just gonna we're gonna put it on this side because as you roll it, it seems to kind of slide a little bit. Okay. Um, and then just another unique flavor, Munster cheese. Ooh, I like Munster. Love mm -hmm. Munster cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just gonna put that on there, and then basically it's super quick. We're just gonna roll this up and see how it just kind of moves as we roll together. Mm -hmm. All right, and so then what I do is I roll up all eight of these, I put them on a plate, cover them with saran wrap, leave them in the fridge for about about two hours, but again, we can do this overnight. Because it, they'll firm up that way. The cream cheese will go harder, they'll be nice and easy exactly. to slice. Okay, Much all easier right. to slice, but we're just gonna add these to our plate right now. So, okay. you know, we've got just, you always use a serrated knife. So okay. the first thing I always do is just kind of cut off the edges. And we're you get gonna, the ends, you get to nibble yep. on the ends. You get to eat the edges. Because they're not quite as uh, pretty exactly. as the other. Exactly. I'm fine with that. All right, then we're just going to go ahead and just cut these in about one inch, one to two inch, depending on how thick you'd like them. And we're just going to do these guys here. These are the perfect party sandwich. I love this idea. It, you know, it's kind of fun to put them on the plate so you can see them, but then also, you know what, for people to grab them, sometimes I always use, you know, toothpicks or however you'd like to display it. Sure. But again, you know, we've got our little picks here, and I'm like, oh, it's all about the Packers. Absolutely. So we're going to grab a couple of these. Just load up your stick tray. these in here. How so. fun. Put those guys on so there. So cute. I love this idea. So uh, Brenda has so many neat things at her store. Um, way more than uh, the pics and oh, things yes. we're showing. <laughs> really, it's all about great spices. If you're having a chili party, she's got amazing different um, you know, seasonings for that. Spice blends, easy dip mixes for yes. busy time of year, smoothie mixes. 
um, special flours for people who are gluten-free, tons of different specialty flours. This is the go-to place to get it. Absolutely. We've got over 3,800 different items in the store. Um, just a lot of unique things that you're just not going to find at the grocery store. And the cool thing about it is they package it fresh in bulk, so it's a lot cheaper, too. So it's just a unique concept. If you haven't been to the bulk food shop, you really need to go check it out. Um, tons of stuff to see. Fresh ground peanut butter at the Greenville location. Just some really great stuff. And then the Ashwaubenon location as well. So yes. what are we making next time? Okay, we're going to make a monster cookie dough dip. A it cookie dough amazing. dip? That means <laughs> we're allowed to eat it? I'm all about it. I can hardly wait. Bring on the cookie dough. All right, we'll be back. Stay with us.